dogs may soon be used as a way to help COVID-19 long haulers. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares the promising results from a new study. Hey there, everybody. A new pilot study shows when it comes to COVID-19 detection, the same furry friends that can detect this virus for initial diagnosis can also detect long COVID in people. I had mono once in my life, and it's very similar to that. Those who have long COVID symptoms appear to continue to have the same potent organic compounds dogs can smell when there's an initial infection in the body. And these appear to accompany symptoms you might not even link to the illness, especially if you didn't have a serious case or hospitalization from the disease. They're talking about uh, uh, cerebral nerves that might be affected leading to this COVID fog. They're talking about respiratory, long-term respiratory issues depression, links to diabetes. Those who train dogs, such as Jessa Kentworthy of the National Organization for Paws for Ability, say an early alert from a dog trained in detection might alert you to the need for early intervention. Anything that a dog can smell, you could teach them to alert to. According to this pilot study in Frontiers in Medicine, dogs trained to detect long COVID sense had an 85% success rate of being able to alert researchers. It's just really repeating that scent, exposing them to that scent, and then um, asking them to do some kind of behavior, bark. The Four Paws program does similar work with other chronic illnesses detected with scent. These may include the risk for seizures or low blood sugars associated with diabetes. Um, they actually sometimes start pre-alerting and licking uh, the child, and then that's a really good cue to the parents to say, okay, I need to pay attention and see what's going on. In the same way, medical detection early on for long COVID might help the one in five who experience these symptoms know they too need to see what's going on. That scent, you know, might take a long time to dissipate until the, until the virus is really completely gone. The hope, of course, is that this research could help improve therapies in that post-COVID syndrome time. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonas. Now back to you.